Describe in brief the components of the instrument used for thermogravimetric analysis. Thermogravimetry is the technique in which change in the weight is recorded as a function of temperature or time. The phenomena is used for qualitative as well as quantitative analysis. The instrumentation of TGA is consisting of the following component. First and the most important is the balance. It must be highly sensitive analytical balance. It must be precise and accurate at experimental temperature. The commonly used balance is Kahn Electrobalance. It functions as null type device by providing an electrical force to restore the beam to a predetermined position. When mass changes, the beam of the balance changes. A shutter fixed to the beam changes the amount of light reaching the phototube or electromagnetic radii, which causes a restoring force to be generated by passing a current through the electromagnet that serves as the pivot for the balance beam. A permanent magnet above and below the pivot provides the magnetic attraction to the electromagnet. The force required to restore the beam is proportional to the current which is recorded. Secondly, furnace or heating device. Here the sample is heated by resistance heater, IR radiation or microwave radiation. Or heating can also be done by passing the hot vapors of liquid or solid. The furnace must be designed in such a manner that heat produced is directly given to the sample. The rate of increase of temperature must be 0.15 to 2 degrees per minute. The heating should be done in such a manner so that the weighing system should not be affected. Next is sample holder. The sample holder should be made up of glass, quartz, stainless steel or platinum. The size and shape depends on the weight and nature of the sample. Temperature measurement and control unit. The temperature measurement is done by thermocouples. It is placed very close to the sample. The EMF generated by the thermocouple when heated is recorded and is applied on the x-axis of the data acquisition and manipulation system that is computer. Finally, recorder. The electrical current obtained with EMR null detector is plotted on the y-axis and EMF of the thermocouple on the x-axis in the computer. The result of thermogravimetry depends on the atmosphere of sample. See that the atmosphere should be inert gas called purge gas which may be argon or nitrogen. So let's discuss working of this instrument. First of all, the temperature of the sample is sensed by the temperature sensor that is thermocouple. This temperature is sent to the computer and computer sends the information to the temperature controller to increase the temperature. And as the temperature of the furnace increases, the sample may undergo into decomposition. So it will lose some weight and it becomes lighter. So the pan of the balance moves upward and the reference weight moves downward. During this movement, the mirror attached to the balance reflects the light at a certain angle. This deflection in light beam is recorded by the computer and computer again sends the required amount of the current to the magnet so that the reference weight is again pushed upward and mirror is moved to its horizontal position. The amount of current supplied to the magnet depends on the weight loss. So finally, this is converted into the weight loss of the system and which is recorded on the graph in the y-axis while the temperature is recorded on the x-axis. So finally, we can get a graph of loss in the weight versus temperature or time. If you like this video, please click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel.